Hello everyone, welcome to the AI practical series. In this particular session, we'll be studying about the associative and distributive laws using the prolog language. So this associative and distributive laws, they are used in a logical AI where we use proposition logic or first order logic, we use these laws. So I've divided this session into two parts. The first is the explaining the laws and the second part would be the, the implementing of prolog code and the execution. So what is associative law? This law states that the grouping of numbers does not affect the result when we perform certain operations. So for example here we can see two uh, operations are given. The first is the addition. So if we have three numbers A, B and C, we uh, this particular part, this says we are adding A and B first and then that sum is added with C. If we do B and C first and add it with a afterwards we'll get the same result similarly for multiplication if we have numbers a b and c if we multiply a b first and then the product is multiplied by c and if we do multiplication of b with c and the product with a we'll get the same result so this is what the associative law says so whether we do this way or this way or this way or this way we'll get the same thing the second is the distributive law now what this distributive law says that uh, two different operations of uh, like multiplication addition or subtraction uh, we can distribute an operation across terms inside the parenthesis so for suppose we have this a into b plus c so this is same as a into b plus a into c this is for multiplication distribution of multiplication over addition similarly we have multiplication over subtraction this is the law so a into b minus c is similar to a into b minus a into c. Whatever we get by this, we'll get the same thing by this also. So this uh, this is the explanation. Let us see the prolog code. Now this is the prolog code we'll be implementing. This is for associative law. Uh, in this particular case, this are the comments. The one which are in this uh, violet color, they are the comments. And this is the uh, prolog code. So the first line, this is the, uh, this, uh, what does it say? associative underscore law a comma b comma c comma result so these are the four arguments this will take in which a b c will be the input and result will be the output so this is like a rule in case of prologue so here we can have we have uh, semicolon uh, sorry colon and uh, hyphen so this is okay this is what we have so this is the how we have uh, defined the law so this will be if we give this particular case we have result is a plus b plus c so if we have this we are passing these four arguments then the result would be equal to a plus b plus c this is how we define this then we define some expressions two expressions we are defining like we have in expression one we have two three four in expression two we have five six seven and here again we define the we derive the result using the associative law using this particular uh, rule so what does it say derive results so if then expression is expression one is a comma b comma c and associative law a comma b comma c comma result so here you can see they're all commas commas and finally we have this is the full stop here okay so even in this case here there is a full stop here there is a full stop and here there is a full stop so what exactly we have to do to get the output when we run the code we will just write this derive results full stop so what it will do it will first execute this expression so expression 1 a b c now this expression 1 a b c it will uh, backtrack it to this point okay it will take this two two three four arguments okay, and it will pass this two three four arguments in <coughs> this associative law okay and in this associative law what we have is a b c comma result so this will pass this to this particular law what it will do it will add this a b and c and uh, pass the value to result one so we will have this okay then what will the second expression do second expression is expression 2 is x y z this x y z because this expression 2 so it will pass this to this case and here then what we have is we have to uh, then the next line says associative law x y z so this values will be input to this and it will what it will do x plus y plus z and result 2 so this result will be printed here okay so this write 
is similar to print what we use in uh, other languages okay so this is how this will work similarly we have the distributive law so in distributive law the same thing will happen only the 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 difference is this operation okay a into b plus c so here we are doing a a plus b plus c and here we will be doing a into b plus c because we want to we want to demonstrate this particular law so this is distributive law okay and here whatever things we are this is the just the difference rest all the things are same now let us execute the code uh, in uh, uh, prolog now in order to execute the code i will just click on this swf log i will get this screen okay then i click on file and click on new file okay and then uh, i click on practical ai i have created a folder practical ai and i will then i will actually uh, type the name of the file which i have to save so i'll just name is associative then the extension is dot pl okay so just type the extension dot pl prolog so i'll get a new screen here i've already copied the code i'll just paste the code here to t save the time so i just pasted this sign okay this is the required code now we save this by control s okay so this is saved with you can see this associated dot pl this is saved now we come back to the first screen here and i'll just click on file and consult and you to give the path so it is in my practical ai so here this is the the file i'll just open it up and i can you can see this is what we are getting now how to uh, check the result okay so we need to type derive results d e r i v e derive underscore results okay and then full stop so this is what we will get so the result of expression 1 using so serial law is 9 and the expression 2 is 10 why we are getting this as we can see in this case Uh, you know in the you know, first expression we have 2 3 and 4 and this is 5 6 and 7 so 2 plus 3 is 5 5 plus uh 4 okay it is 9 and this is addition 5 plus 6 and 7 so we should get 18 so this is what we are getting the answer is 9 the first and the second is 18 so this is for the so serial law let us see for the distributive law also now let us go for the distributive law so for that purpose i will just click on swf prolog and click here and new file so i have used this folder practical ai i will save this file here with the name distributive dot pl so it will open up a new window i'll just copy i'll just paste this code this is the distributive law so so we just press control s to save this you can see we are getting this now we come back to the previous window this one okay so consult uh, our file is in practical ai this is our file distributive.pl so okay this is done now we'll type the argument d e r we don't need to write, uh, type anything the question mark will all, uh, will come automatically we just need to write derive underscore result results full stop so this is our result okay 14 and 65 why we are getting this so in our code as we can see we have this 2 into 3 uh, sorry 2 into 3 plus 3 plus 4 so 2 so into 3 and plus 2 into 4 so 3 to the 6 plus 4 to the 8 is 14 and in the second case we will have the other results we are getting the same thing so it is 5 into 6 plus 5 into 7 that is the result so this is how the distributive and the associative law works so that's all for this particular session thanks for watching